How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another show. This is You May Roscoe, and I am Roscoe. And today's show, I got my partner in crime with me. I got Sale in the building. What up, my dude? What's going on, fam? How you feeling? Man, I'm good. I'm good, man. Uh, today, me and Sale, uh, we going to be reacting to the song Surface Dwellers. This is by Kay Reno. And um, the, uh, unfortunately, there's no video. So we'll be just doing the version with the lyrics. Um, so we'll be checking this out. Before we do that, I do want to ask for anybody who hasn't already that they please subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure you hit the notification bell. That way you'll be reminded of any time future shows are being published. Um, so had, had you ever gotten a chance to do one of these K Reno reactions with me? Nah, but I'm looking forward to it though. Okay. Let's see what's up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, um, if I'm not mistaken, he he comes from where you at right now. So you know, y'all. Uh, Texas is is being fully represented in this video. Uh, um, so yeah, no, we we gonna kick this off. Um, first of all, uh, before we do that, I do want to say uh, there's a shout out I do have to give to Texas Country. So Texas Country, shout out to you. You are definitely um, a real supporter. You know, um, uh, much love to you, bro. Um, thank you for um, doing what you do for being you for how you rock with me and uh, for suggesting this song. So um, all that and uh, then some. But me and Sal, we are about to go ahead and dive into this. So let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, man, we better yeah. bamboozle, man. Give y'all a history lesson, man. History lesson. Peep the signs. We we teach teach y'all something, man. Feel this. Peep the signs. Listen. Read between the lines. Knowledge you find inside my mind is designed to kill fear. Did you know the Bible was written in by William Shakespeare? It was done in the King James Version in the 46th year. The 46th Psalm is coded from the top down to the rear. Wanted his name over his work to be seen and read clear. But at the time, that was something King James wasn't trying to hear. Study the history of King James, you'll find out he was a queer. I'll explain how Shakespeare did it. Pay attention and listen clear. Go to the... <laughs> this man is dropping some nuggets. This man is dropping some nuggets out, out the gate, and uh, is that is that true that Shakespeare wrote wrote the Bible? Had you ever heard that before? Yeah, when I was in um when I was going through my associates, and I had to take these other BS classes in order to get my degree, so I took theater, and yeah, that, no, no, that's that's facts. Yeah, no, well, I, before leaving, I, I first heard, I was like, okay. Yeah, no, that is a very interesting thing. Even though that's that's one of those things, because I, I I'm I'm a fucking dinosaur, so I've been around so damn long. I feel like I I done learned some stuff and then forgot it. You know, only to hear it hear it later as if I've never experienced it before. You know, so um, I think that information did cross my, uh, cross my path before way back in the day, but um, mm -hmm. still hearing it. Um, again, it's like wow, you know, like that is that that is an amazing fact that I'm sure a lot of people don't know about. You know, they they would be amazed by, I'm sure. But um, uh, let me let me keep this going. I, I just had to stop it for that, and then the whole thing about you know King James kind of being um, you know a closet dweller. You know, I <laughs> I don't know how. In or out he was, but you know, uh, you know, that that that, that ain't, that's for another time. That ain't for the show. I'm sorry. Let me keep this going. The 46 song, what I'm saying is not fake. Start at the word God, count 46 words down, you'll see shake. Then go to the bottom, you'll see the word refuge appear. Start right there, count 46 words up, you'll see spear. Shakespeare, no coincidence, they don't teach this in classes. They tamper with the holy scriptures and then fed it to the masses. Confused by misinterpreted signs and allegories. Parables are painted out like fairy tales and wild stories. That brainwash the world, even theological masters. What was once the word of God is now a theatrical. Disaster words they gave us only served to enslave us. Heard us through murderous ways and got us out of here hoping ghost worship can save us. They don't want you, black man. You think you know yourself, don't you? You got your last name because that was the name of the slave master that owns you. The same one who beat and hung you and put you through this language. We in America not knowing our real names or real language. Learn to know. Man, dude, 
dude, man. And, I, and um, you and you said you hadn't uh, gotten a chance to do none of these with me before, but dude, this dude is so. I mean, his his lyricism is is crazy, dude. It's not even the lyricism for me, man. It's his history knowledge of him actually seem like he hella smart and he know what he's talking about. He definitely reads. I know oh, that much. This, he this, definitely reads and he definitely sheesh. <laughs> Dude, if you if you sat up, if you was to sit up and do like uh, like back to back, like just let, let let's just say five reactions from this dude. Like, dude, you you end up at some point having to pull out like a the source. Yeah. You know what I mean? That 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 type of stuff because he he gonna start going some places and bringing up some words that now you have to you have to be like master's degree type mug and beyond to either comprehend to begin the spot. Not even that. I mean, he's putting that knowledge to folks whether they want to listen or not a lot of us are not going to listen especially when it comes to that bible and the real backstory behind it and how us african americans are so glued to it even though the history behind it is not all that good mm -hmm. yeah no I, I i'm right there with you you know i I'm, I'm one of those people that have always uh said i i have no issue with saying you know um for us and our community, I feel like like uh, I don't understand the attachment to something that we know that we was given, you know, as opposed to, you know, this ain't something that came with us, you know, so I don't, I don't know. It's just weird, you know, but I, I guess it's one of those when in Rome, do as the Romans type of things. I don't know, but um, I mean, I'm going to keep this going. But yeah, no, you right though, like the the knowledge that he's um that he's kind of putting out yeah. there it, it, it is bigger than and especially with this particular song like mm -hmm. that there, there are songs of his where he just goes crazy the lyrics wise but this is him kind of straying away from that just a tiny bit <laughs> you know what i mean so in the description of Jesus if you never seen him If you don't know the lines, it's impossible for you to read in between them yeah. Now we so gone, it ain't no black pride, that's real sad Eminem can diss black women and we don't even get mad Man. We surface dwellers Keep the signs, read between the lines Time off a of surface dwelling, time to elevate your mind Uh, peek the signs Read between the lines, time out for surface dwelling, time to elevate uh, your mind. Uh, Let's cut to the chase and put the zodiac in its place. Yeah. Horoscopes and signs, pagan gods deceiving the race. Now when you claim that you a Virgo, I'm a are Virgo. you sure that you are? Do you worship the With constellations or the one who created the star? Take months of the year, September is the ninth month, but I'm driven to inform you that the root word septo means seven. So how to get to be number nine? Yeah. Somehow it don't equate. How can October be the tenth month when octo means eight? Like an octopus, an octagon, eight legs and eight sides. Artificial names invented through mythological lies. All named after so-called pagan gods in heaven. See, Nova means nine, but November's month number eleven. To the unfathomable abyss of night. This is crazy, dude. This is crazy. And this is something crazy enough uh, on a lot of levels because, uh, you know, you had... And you reminded me of the fact that um, uh, the last time that I talked with the other cell, you know what I mean? And, um, and, and he was just talking about like some stuff like this, about how we don't really put a lot of thought into a lot of the language that we use in everything yeah. and the real meaning behind a lot of these words and a lot of these meanings, like we are really using these words and stuff out of context big time you know what i mean so so like we just don't even think about it and, uh, and he's breaking it down like with uh, with all of this stuff you know what i mean so um what's your what's your thoughts on that bro? i had to be no i had to google to make sure deck of what was what it was i'm about to look at noah to see if that actually means uh, i'm sorry <laughs> um um you said you had to know you have to know. Yeah. Oh, no, I get it. I get it. You know, but it, but this is this is crazy how he's breaking this down, bro. And I bet you it means that too. He says, "See, Nova means nine. 
but November's month number 11. To the unfathomable abyss of knowledge, Adele, DEC DECA means 10. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. I'm about to do some digging my damn self now. Yeah, no, you know, you can't do that. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, he 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 one of the teachers here. I had you doing homework. The you don't even know. It. The completion of the cycle, you complete the cycle of numbers of one through mm, me. Yeah. Seven reflect. Yeah, I might be nosy with this one. Knowledge right. <laughs> <laughs> I delve. DEC, Deca means 10, get December's month number 12. See, before you try to test me, I insist that you try to research and see your calendar's been misconstrued. See, March was the first month, April used to be second. Listen, May and June was three and four, so now let's do some checking. Let's see, two months got removed, Quint Tennis and Sex Tennis. It's time to get this knowledge now before the effects kill us. Quint meaning five, sex means six. It don't stop either. Uh -uh. They added July. August named after Julius and Augustus Caesar. That's five and six. September was seven. October eight. November was nine. Now you see it's all back in line. December's ten. January's eleven. So go report this. February was the twelfth in the last month plus the shortest year. I guess he just put things back in sequence. That's his way. That's what he was on. Like, like he's gone. To get about how you know whoever created time and calendars and all that. Pretty much, <laughs> I got some work to do. I am so curious. Like he just he just made you just rethink. Yeah, I'm saying the whole the calendar is completely off. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's amazing. But um, that was K Reno with Circus Dwellers, and um, that was another. Uh, uh, amazing! I felt like we was taken to. Uh, I think that, was, yeah, no, it was, a, it was a master class, and and in history, you know what I mean? Like, 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 like this was this was deep, dude. You know, like all the things he was breaking down in this man. So, um, like I said, it just made me really think about like how we really don't put thought into like the language we we using out here and how we are really just mis misusing without caring apparently like how we're saying these things that we're saying and the power behind or the reality actually behind the words that we're saying but um uh how you how did, how did you feel about it my gear my brain my brain the gears inside my brain is twisting it's I'm curious. He done sparked a little curiosity in me. I got to do some digging on my own. Word. I'm curious now. He said February is the last month of the year, and the first month of the year is March. Huh. Huh. That's some, that's some, that's some shit. You don't have all of us, like I'm saying. We got I'm homework. definitely digging this weekend. I'm curious. We got some homework. You know? Yeah, I, I do. I got my own little personal homework. I'm just... Um, very deep, man. Very, very deep. And I'm open minded, so I know some folks gonna be like, ah, he shouldn't be talking about the Bible and like that. And then I'm open minded. I'm curious. Yeah. So far from what he's been saying and what I've been looking at so far is adding up. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. No, I, 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 I'm right there with you. I try to, I try to be open minded and look at things from all angles. You know, it's not it, even if it goes against um, how I see things, you know, right. I, I I realize that my way or my perception and my view ain't the only perception and view out here, you know, in any given situation, you know, so, um, but, he, he, you know, he, he covered a lot of bases with that. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely going to require you know, some uh, some delving into mm -hmm. some uh, into some books and <laughs> you know, it's, yeah. it's research to to oh, really figure yeah. this out. But um, I think he did an amazing job, like he like he always does. Just like I said, it, it, the lyricism is going to be one thing, but um, sometimes he he takes his time out, like he did with this one, to kind of just uh, do some teaching and uh, expound. On like like his oh, what the way that he sees mm -hmm. things and stuff like that, 
you know, but um, anything else you want to add in there? No, nah, just a very deep brother, and I definitely like what I'm what I'm hearing. But you know, definitely got that Texas sound to it. Take myself out of the the whole teaching. Definitely got that Texas sound to it. You could definitely tell that Texas have their own unique sound for sure. And yeah, that's yeah. definitely one of them. Now I wonder if it's if Michael Watson, one of them, done beats because it definitely has that 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 sound to it. Mm-hmm. Not sure, but nah, I fucks with them. I like it. Like yeah. it yeah, yeah, no, I like it. I like it. I, I, I can rock with this. So, um, it looked like me and say, Oh, we fuck with this, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna throw my thumb up. Um, and that that's uh, I guess we're gonna end it with uh, me and say, Oh, uh, both rocking out or, or rocking with this pretty tough. So, uh, yeah. That's that's good, and um, me and we we're gonna get up out of here. You know, you I'm like high as hell. <laughs> yeah, show the ones. Yeah, no, I know. You know, so uh, me and Sal, we gonna get going. Before we do, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit the share button, hit the playlist option. Uh, you'll pick the one named K Reno reactions. You'll watch those, like those. Also, make sure you're not requesting anything that hasn't been reacted to already. I do have playlists for other artists as well. Make sure you check out all that stuff. The Cash App is on the screen. It's dollar sign you made Roscoe. For those who want to um, support the uh, support the page, who want to uh, make any tiny uh, donations, who just want to show um, appreciation for the work being done on the page, that's that. Otherwise. Um, I think we've covered everything. Uh, anything you want to add before we get, bro? I mean, pretty much like, subscribe, share. And I will say to the folks who potentially comment on this here video, it is okay having your opinions and your views. I mean, it is talking about a very touchy subject, mm-hmm. the Holy Bible. Everybody's going to feel the way they feel about it. But for the sake of my man, Roscoe, and for the other people on here that comment X, Y, and Z, if you decide to make a comment, just be respectful. That's all I ask. Be open-minded. You know, agree to disagree. So right. be cool, even if we don't agree. But don't don't turn it into how most folks get when it's about religion. Just just don't. Yeah. You know, if you feel some kind of way, speak your peace. Hopefully, I'm open-minded. I'll listen, and I'll listen to you, and I'll respond back X, Y, and Z. I like that type of dialogue when it comes to stuff like this. So just be, just be cautious. Just be mindful. You know, that's all I ask. I love y'all. Yeah. That way. Yeah. No. And um, you know, I, I'm, I'm definitely gonna uh, protect um everybody on on my side and on my end. That is, you know, um, all of my people. Who, Y'all see on here, you know, um, I definitely defend the fact that they have their own opinions and they're allowed to express because we, well, we we know, we know going in, like we mess with each other and we know that we're not going to agree on everything, you know, with each other. So we know that amongst each other. So, you know, we just asking that y'all be mindful of the fact that, yeah, you know, we're going to say some things y'all might not like, but that don't mean, you know, uh, you know, cancel, uh, sale, cancel Roscoe, you know what I mean, and all that other stuff. So, um, so yeah. Play the world. That's how the world was made from back in the day. Brothers talk. Brothers and sisters talked. They Word. debated. They had dialogue. I like that. The way you get things to move forward, you got to listen to your fellow man and woman. It's the only way to, you know, yeah. see it from a different point of view and I've, I've always said no, no relationship out here, no relationship is going to work without communication. Yeah. Uh, whether it's work, uh, you know, the relationship uh, between you and your mate, uh, however it is, you know, like every relationship depends on uh, every the, 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 the information being uh, fluid and reciprocal, <laughs> you know, so uh yeah, no, I'm glad you brought that up, Sal. That was good stuff. That was good stuff. Uh, we got we got to get going. Uh, he got stuff to do. I got stuff to do. Y'all got stuff to do. So um, we're going to end this. Uh, but you guys have a great rest of your day. Um, 
Until next time, y'all be safe and y'all be good. Wednesday. <laughs>